hello in this video I'm going to show you how to get resources for offline use uh, this is the Google applicant scholarship so in this case you have to click here to the current course you're doing and to get started you're going to click the Ascension project this is a card then you have this resource folder in this resource folder you can go ahead and download all the videos Th these are the videos for this for this lesson you're having for the full course you have to go and click download zip and after let's see what will come here it is going to prompt us how to download the full videos So for this course it has 611 MBs. You can go ahead and download the videos, tutorials, but remember you have to come back to watch these videos, maybe by skipping them to show that you have been there for the software to track your progress. Then for those who want to download the code from the github from the github this is what you have to do you have to go to github so this is the code for the lesson 2 exercise display toy toy list what you do this is the lesson you have to click here then this case you have to download all these lessons you're going to be using just for your offline use here you have to click clone if you have you can just say clone then download the zip file it's going to show you all the student exercise this is 76 MBs then you have to click OK then to, to save to your computer These are, so in my case I already downloaded it for its offline use uh, I had a question on this site in the Slack, Slack forum where we have been put everyone. So this guy is asking how do I import without using the GitHub. Uh, th I hope this will help you. And if we go back, all the things you're going to use uh, will be here. In my case, I would recommend after importing all your projects, I would recommend you to cause me to find, I would recommend you to save your work in the drive C, as I'm going to show you here. This is my, the file, the file I downloaded is here. These are all the lessons you're going to be covering. Then these are the exercises, how to create a layout, then the solution. Hope this helps you. And this is being used offline. But remember, you have to watch those videos online so that they can the software can know that you have passed that level. Please, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.